The lovely Teresa Quick is back in to see you. Happy summer. Happy well, we're not there yet officially, oh, are we? We're no, close we're not. enough. We're we're close can, we can celebrate. But the interesting thing is, you see the you know all day long. It's it's a different seasons. It starts off a little spring like, and then it gets into that thick into humidity. Into the 39 humidity. Yeah, and you're like, why did I wear this long sleeve shirt today? You start sweating in it, so you have the solution. Well, the reality is, unfortunately, most of us still have to work through the summer. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, I um, mean, still want to be able to look put together and also play around with some of the trends that are happening this season. Yeah. So I've got a few different looks and also the most important part how to get from the office to the weekend or out for drinks as quickly as possible. I love this transition. So let's see our first dress. You're right this is perfect this for is, the office. It is so a wrap dress is your best bet to be able to go to the office and then go right out for drinks after especially in a bold color. Yeah. Now the thing I want to talk about is fabric. So um, you want to make sure that it's wrinkle resistant because that's going to be the first thing mm -hmm. that uh, makes you look a little bit disheveled. Mm -hmm. This is um, from Code Vitesse, and the reason I did bring it was it's a new synthetic, but it's breathable. It's light. It's breathable, it's high quality, and most importantly, wrinkle resistance. So and you, can actually you, you put the flat with it, but it's got the uh, pointy toe, and that's what dresses it up, even though it is it a flat, is, so you can walk in it. Elongate the leg as well versus the ballerina. Yeah. You could easily do that as well. And you could add some chunky, you know, necklaces if you'd like to easily. take it out at it's night. It's the color. That's what really does it, so it's really versatile for um, both the office as well as afterwards. So, um, and yeah, I've used this. I actually own this dress, and for travel, it's also amazing. If you're going and sitting up and sitting down. Yeah. Believe me that um, that material is going to last you a long, long it time. It cooperates. Thank very you. Cooperative. Here's another great look. It's dressing up the capri. So again, it's very office appropriate. Well, I was talking about the whites. Whites were really, really big this season. Um, so, but the only thing is you want to make sure that you choose a white that has a thicker fabric because there's okay. nothing that looks less professional than when you can see the pockets through. Yeah. Or if or you're you not wearing see, nude I underwear know, or nude underwear bra. Lines. Um, and jeans are perfectly acceptable for, especially for a casual Friday, as long as they're clean. Clean. There's no distress. There's no holes on Thick. them. A bit thicker, and these have a little bit of spandex in them, so they're not going to wrinkle the same way pure cotton ones would. Mm -hmm. uh, this whole look is actually from Loft, um, and I loved it because it's all about the layering. So I've got this great kind of floral sweater that you've layered over a very feminine, Gorgeous. soft yellow cotton top. So the whole feminine. collection this season has been so feminine, mm. and it still looks completely office and professional. And how beautiful and sexy are those feet? Stunning. Right. You can pair this easily with a pair of ballerina flats for work, though. If you obviously, I, you know, this is for the weekend afterwards, but yeah. um, you want to make sure you cover up those toes. Most offices don't like to have. Is that open right? Toes. Is there yeah. no t open toe policy in most offices? Just peak toes, yeah. And honestly, really? you really want to pay attention, most importantly, to what your boss is wearing. So forget the dress code <laughs> and just watch what your boss is wearing, and you should be just fine. Interesting. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is what I am wearing. Your outfit. Enter model Teresa. Enter quick. model Teresa. This, is, this is my first modeling gig, so please forgive Work me it, if, I, if I'm not doing this properly. Love the pants. The Palazzo pants, huge this season. They are not yoga pants. Yoga pants are never acceptable to wear into the office. But Palazzo pants, you can get away with as long as you make sure that you, you pair it with something that has a bit of structure to Dress it. Dress up the top. And that's what really brings me to the uh, peplum top. Very feminine. It's been coming back for a few seasons. But the key to remember is you need to make sure the peplum hits in the right place. Otherwise, Which is? you're doing a disservice. So look for it at the narrowest part. I see them coming down really low, and it actually creates bigger hips, hips. than you're looking for. Yeah. So really, really pay attention to the narrowest part of your waist. And then okay. dressy jewelry. Dressy jewelry. And Done. once again, this is from the same company, Code Vitesse. Code Vitesse. Um, and so once again, you really want to make sure that you find something that doesn't have any wrinkles because that's the I, I see it all the time, and by, it happens by 10 o'clock. By the time you actually get to work, you're already on a little bit of a wrinkle. Whatever rest. time it takes to get to Don't work, want that. transit, your car. How to pull off shorts. Is this a short? Yes. Yes. In the workplace. Shorts were a huge thing this season and a great alternative to the skirt or pants. Um, but once again, you really pay attention to the dress code in the sense that, like, Pay attention to what your boss is wearing yeah. because it doesn't matter what the dress code actually says. What matters is, does she think you look professional? Luckily for us, our producer Paul wears no pants, so it's really anything goes. Oh, through. that's an, I, I like this work <laughs> environment. Um, but uh, the one thing, if you're a little bit concerned about the height of the or the length of the yes. short or the, or the skirt, one of the tricks really is to make sure that you pair it with a flat and do the sit test. Because there are many times we will try on a short or a skirt and it feels okay standing up. And then you sit and there's a whole lot of things to be seen. That's right. And so one of the other things here I've also done is we've got a very masculine short, but very, you know, you're like, you're like we've done it. You know we've what I'm it. saying? 
Um, the color jacket is another really great versatile piece. Yes. The one thing I want to mention though, I see it all the time, is people pairing very structured jackets like a suit jacket with more casual pieces like cotton. Okay. Make sure the jacket is a more casual jacket. It's going to look very odd when it's when you have a more of a like a cotton or a linen paired like with a tank the, top. You know what I'm talking about, like the bank suits. Yes. You don't want yes. that paired with great casual. And a great um, necklace. It's great, and yeah, play with accessories, have fun, um, and um, you know, once again, just really watch those dress codes. It's this one season when people really, really mess it up. You're right. Thank you very much. Great advice. For more information, stylepartment.ca and follow Teresa because you always get inquiries, but the spelling stumps people. Yep. It's at Serious Shopper and the word shopper has no E in it. So at Serious Shopper without an E in shopper. Yep. Get shopping. We'll be back with more BTR.